So today I'm accompanying paleontological marvel Steve Etches on a uh, trip to a quarry. We're here to actually map the geology and note, note the Kimmeridgian uh, layers that are exposed here. However, we'll also look for fossils while we're at it. There are nodules here, by the way, so that's part of the grey nodule. Okay. Okay. I'm looking to see if they scored through any boat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anything. So the nodule beds here actually contain things, do they? No. No? Yeah. Well, not much anyway. You'll see it's just stuff full of ramonites and stuff. Um, these lovely all different little ramonites. Some quite big ones, these are Alicus Depnus Metabolis type things. It's stuff you won't see at Kimmer. There's, yeah, so there's a typical, we're getting down to the metabolic zone somewhere because look, see that ammonite there, it's only mm. got one set of nodes, spines, yeah? Can you see? Yeah. There? Uh -huh. Just one set of spines. Aspidosterous longest spine has got two rows, so that tells us this is orthos, Aspidosterous orthocera. So... And the, so the beds are much thinner here, so we're down probably in, in some, perhaps the top, there's another one there you see, the top of the metabolic zone now, so we're going, it's very, very much thinner here. So what Steve is digging out here is actually a piece of fossilised wood. Steve generally has no interest in, in, in fossilised wood other than what might be attached to it. He normally looks for any barnacles or any life that's attached to it. If I'm honest, he's a little bit obsessed with barnacles. He, um, for good reason though, the evidence he has found is several new species. But there you go, there's a small piece of fossilised wood. Body chamber of a Aspidosaurus. It's a big. Yeah, very big. It's just a fragment of it. Big oyster attached to it then. Like they normally do. <coughs> Although a lot of the fossil material here is broken, doesn't mean you won't find things in 3D or you won't find interesting things. And, as you can see, sometimes you get a little bit frustrated and just start attacking pieces of clay and rock, trying to find something a, a bit nicer. I found this ammonite. What's particularly nice about this, although it's not intact, nothing you can collect, but if you actually look at the shell, the colours are spectacular. The pearlescence here is like none I've ever seen. I just wish it was intact and collectible because it would have been a, an unbelievably pretty ammonite.
This is probably the most intact ammonite I find today. This block is spectacularly pretty, although as you can see only contained very smashed up remains, but the colours are visible throughout this are really, really nice. It's a shame that there's nothing more. But there is life here, like this little gastropod, but again, as you can see, the shell's destroyed. Also, some calcareous aptokai can be found. Another semi-high ammonite, but as you see, the shell's mostly destroyed. See it? That one there? Hmm. Certain area. It's covered in those. Better record those because I'm not sure in the thing if they don't know. <laughs> and there's another one as well. Amibosaurus. See that one there? That's Amibosaurus. A bloody great oyster. Yeah. Massive, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> yeah? Yeah. <coughs> hard enough to kind of yeah if you can get them yeah. oh yeah if you get them in there got to break off on the right bed and plane on it yeah I imagine this stuff's quite hard to prep it's gonna because it Wait. just falls apart yeah well it's not too bad but how would you keep a specimen together oh that does when you dry this it's fine oh really yeah yeah Fragmacone has gone and fluted there. Another one there, look, another one there. Um, little apticai, look, see the little ap, look? Huh. Little calcareous apticai. Tiny little thing. Coprolite again, but that, I don't think. Yeah, because still, look, just, I don't know about the other side of it, but let's have a look in a minute. What else have we got on here? Let's look on the other slab, what we, the cane slab. Yeah, but it ain't got the proper, yeah. the, the lap it normally much better than that. We want one. Hmm. Little copper like that. Yeah, little, oh, there's the aptikai there. That is calcareous as well. Tiny little thing. Yeah, tiny little thing. No decent. Oh, it's bloody lovely. I mean, God, you could.
pyrite. Bloody pyrite. Pyrite. So you do get pyrite, you know what I mean? But as I see what I mean, got quite a nice ribbon, isn't it? It does. <clears throat> well, that'll do. Got a photo? As a typical, then I can just look look at against the metabolism ones.